Warning! This video contains massive spoilers for the film Promare. If you have not seen Promare, click off now. If you have seen the movie or have or do not give a shit about spoilers, here you go. Promare is a movie by Studio Trigger, one of my personal favorite anime studios, having produced Kill a Kill, BNA, and Little Witch Academia, all three series that I personally greatly enjoy. They are also producing a series for Netflix called Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which I am super, super excited about, but doesn't come out until next year. So I'm using this to fill my uh, love for Trigger until that show comes out. But Promare is, I believe, the only movie that Trigger has ever produced. I could be wrong there. I am not 100% sure. Promare is a personal favorite of mine. I find it extremely entertaining. It's a lot of fun to watch and just enjoy what's going on on screen. But I have some very, very personal issues with the film that also have to come up and have to be stated. First, what I like about Promare. Promare is a movie about firefighting and it sticks to that for the most part. The main character, Gallo, is a paramedic who works for a fire rescue squad called Burning Rescue. His job is to save people, and he sticks to that characteristic the entire time. He never strays from his ideal that he just wants to save everyone on the planet as much as he possibly can. The other main character that we have is Leo, a Burnish and the leader of the terrorist organization Mad Burnish, who just want to burn and destroy everything. Again, he keeps in line with his characteristic throughout the entire film, his want to destroy being pretty much his entire thing. Except, he doesn't want to hurt anyone. He intentionally leaves escape routes when he destroys stuff so that humans don't get hurt in this typical back and forth. Now, the main plot of this film, in reality, isn't firefighting. The main plot is government doing bad things and stopping them because that is bad and not okay. Uh, after the first action scene, which is gorgeous, by the way, so much fun to watch, we see Leo and the other members of Mad Burnish get arrested. After that, Gallo gets a medal, and we see him and the rest of Burning Rescue at a restaurant. They're eating pizza, where, in the middle of their meal, Freeze Force, the fucking asshole police unit of this movie, come in, break in, and arrest the guy who's making the pizza. Gallo straight up tries to stop them because the dude's not doing anything other than making pizza. He's not a terrorist. He's not doing anything wrong. He's not trying to hurt people. He's just wanting to live his life. And Gallo immediately, like, just steps in to try and save this kid. Gallo clearly has just a love and want to save human life. And I, it's one of the best characteristics about him, in my opinion. Even if he can get a little grating at times. Now, Cray Forsyth works as the villain, in my opinion. Yeah, his reveal as the villain is pretty fucking obvious once everything starts going. His plan overall is stupid as shit, which I will get into in parts I dislike about this later. But he's fun. He consistently stays who he is. He never breaks reality in really who he is outside of when he's pretending to not be psycho villain. But once he enters psycho mode, he just stays in that mode. He doesn't change or anything. And a lot of the other characters in the movie, they constantly stay in character. The characteristics that we are introduced with them are the characteristics they have throughout the entire thing. Now, they are, can be a little bit deeper, but yeah, you have the main, but again, you have the main ones and they pretty much stay within that realm. None of them stray too far and do, no, nothing that the characters do ever feel outside of the character as they are initially presented. Also, again, the action scenes in this just, ah, uh, perfect. They are so much fun. Holy shit, they are so entertaining. CGI is actually pretty freaking good too. CG, I think, fine, can be a little distracting, and I did notice it a lot in this movie, especially just when there were certain things, like, they would go from 2D to, like, a 3D panning shot, and sometimes it would look good, other times it was very noticeable, but even when it's noticeable, it didn't actually pull me out of the movie, because it was being used to enhance the, whatever scene was going on. So, overall, CG, I thought, worked really, really well, though some people might find it distracting if you find that kind of stuff distracting. Personally, I've never found it super distracting when I watch stuff, but eh, it's possible. Okay, now, what I dislike about this movie. It's a movie. 
In my personal opinion, Trigger excels in making shows. Trigger wants to have as much time as they can to tell a story in entirety and to its completion without making it feel too rushed or sped up. That's my personal opinion. I personally think Promare would have worked a lot better as a show. It felt like at least a 12 episode thing that was condensed into two hours. And that personally didn't work for me. It just, there are certain parts where it feels very rushed, like Gallo, there, there's a point where Gallo's like, I'm arrest you. And then he instantly turns around and is like, no, 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 I can help you, I can save you. Which, yeah, that's his character. Again, he's a paramedic, but overall it just felt slightly out of character for him to suddenly be like no 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 no! i'll save you i'll save you and the rush thing comes up again later when gallo gets his dumbass arrested and apparently a week passed it feels like it was a day but a week passes over the course of the film and it's just like you did wait what how long Cause the, the movie, there's no sense of time scale in this film. It literally feels like boom, 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 boom. Everything feels like it happens in a span of about 48 hours, but it happens over the course of a week. So it just, to me, doesn't feel as strong. I also don't have that strong connection to pretty much any of the characters. The only two that I actually get any sense of knowledge are are Gallo, Leo, and Cray. And the only reason that actually bothers me is because in the beginning of the film, the entire of Burning Rescue is introduced by name. They do like the freeze frame name on the screen thing for every single member of Burning Rescue. And they are in maybe a total of 30 minutes out of the film outside of Ina, who is the only character that we see a lot of. And it's implied her and Gallo get into a relationship by the end of the film. Kind of. There's like one scene earlier where she thinks Gallo's gonna kiss her and then he doesn't. So I don't know. To me, because boy meets girl is a stupid shorthand thing, it implies it. Though the movie doesn't actually end with that. The movie ends with Gallo and Leo being like, we're gonna rebuild the world. Fist bump. And so, you know, that there's that. But again, you don't really get a sense of who any of these characters are, and so in the final fight, when they're doing their thing, I didn't really care because I didn't know who any of them were. So I didn't give a shit. I didn't really care what happened to them, if they lived or died. I just overall found it personally boring. Not boring, but personally I found it less engaging. I found myself legit not caring what would happen to these characters. Also, another major issue I have. This, this falls into the it being sped up. The, this is an issue that I have with a lot of Trigger's endings. It ends with a deus ex machina. I love Trigger. Trigger, I love your shows. Your shows are a hell of a lot of fun, but why do you end everything with a deus ex machina? Why? You literally called the robot in the end of this movie Deus Ex Machina. You're not even hiding it in this one. Seriously. I don't have a problem with Deus Ex Machinas in general. I think they can be used. I just think Trigger overuses the trope of the Deus Ex so much. Because there is almost no point for every single thing, every giant robot to be like, just... It feels like Trigger never has a solid idea of how they want to end it outside of what is the most outrageous thing that we can possibly do. And I understand that their founder helped with Guren Lagan and probably Panty and Stalking. But again, I like endings to at least make some sense and not just be like, look at this amazing thing! It's not to say the ending is bad. I actually enjoyed the ending, but just the use of Deus Ex Machina in this bothered me. Little bit. Also, the, the movie ends with literally the main characters joining forces to destroy, to burn everything on Earth to the ground whilst also protecting everyone on the planet because that's apparently how things work. Through the power of friendship and some form of magic, we can both burn and protect everything. Those are probably my biggest issues, the ending, the rushed nature of the film, and just the fact that we don't really get to know any of the characters outside of the main ones, despite pretty much the entirety of Burning Rescue being named characters that we meet in the first, like, ten minutes of the film. 
Seriously, I would have just loved to know more about them, who they were. The, the team could have gotten so much more in depth. We could have gotten more in depth about the world and whole if we had just gotten to know everyone that little bit better. Also, I really would have loved to explain how the Burnish can build things with fire. Seriously, they make bikes, armor, swords, a cannon at one point, a goddamn dragon that has physical mass. They do this out of fire. It's supposed to be fire. How are you making physical mass out of fire? Explain, movie, explain. But again, that's just a personal, I'm like, please explain this aspect of the thing to me so that I can more properly understand the thing because I do not understand the thing right now. Explain the thing, please. <sighs> because I like to understand what the fuck is going on whilst I am watching um, things in general. Overall, I think Promare is a hell of a lot of fun. Great action pieces, consistent characterization for all of the characters, and overall just a great time if you want just a fun two hour romp of nothing but high energy and action. Overall, this for me makes Promare Roll a 15, a highly, highly entertaining movie that I would highly recommend to anyone who likes Trigger and other properties of the same nature, namely other Gynax features. With that being said, if you haven't seen Promare and want to watch it, I would say go watch it. If you have seen it and enjoy it, I'd say watch it again. It's a hell of a lot of fun and just a great, great fun goddamn ride. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you all enjoyed that look. Sorry I haven't posted for a while. I have started a job that I am like waking up really early, working a lot. So I get home and I just don't have any energy. I just, I don't want to do things kind of shit. But yeah, again, I hope that you all enjoyed that. If you would like to follow me on social media, links to both my Twitter and Instagram will be in the description down below as always. Though I hope you do not mind that I barely post anything on either of those. I am not very active on social media, mostly because I don't care a ton, though I might try and become more active. Mostly it's me responding to other people and random stuff like that. But anyway, wow, that got rambly. Again, links to both of those will be in the description down below. But I hope that y'all have a fantastic fucking day, and as always, guys, peace out.